Hello, math makers, and thank you for joining me for another lesson on identifying and counting money. This is lesson number five, and we only have one more lesson, um, but today we're moving away from coins and we're moving into dollar bills. Um, and I wanna make sure that we know how to work with these as well. So today's lesson is really gonna focus on just me showing you some dollar bills and you telling me how much I have. Our next lesson will deal with part six, We'll deal with word problems with dollar bills using the cubes method. So with that getting started, let me show you some of the bills that we're going to be looking at today. Um, our first one is, that's the one most of us always know, it is our $1 bill. It's $1, it's worth $1, and this is how we write it with a dollar sign, a one, a decimal point, and two zeros, and that would be our cents right there. We also have our $5 bill which is worth $5, and we still write it this way. We have our $10 bill, and on all the pictures I'm showing you the front and the back of the bill, so you can, if you see it, you'll know what it is. The great thing about dollar bills versus other kind of coins is these always have the amount in the four corners. It makes it a lot easier to know how much they're worth. We have our $20 bill. It's worth $20. This is how we write it. And the last one we're going to go over is our $100 bill. Um, and it is worth $100. Now, there are other dollar bills. We're just not going to do all of them in what we're working on today. There's a $2 bill. There's a $50 bill. We're not going to go over all of them just because um, there's not a reason for what we're doing. So let's get started. What is the total value? I have a 20, a 10, a $5 bill, and a $1 bill. If I want to know the total value, our keyword there is total, and that is an addition word. So we're just going to add those four numbers up, 20 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1. And I usually line those up from biggest to smallest on purpose because it makes it a little bit easier. So now one thing for us, I know for my class, is we have not added multiple numbers yet. And this is, we're adding four numbers. We normally don't do that. We, for us, we've normally just done two. We haven't moved to four, but we're going to practice anyway, and I'm going to show you how it's done. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the first two numbers, 20 and 10. And the best thing, the reason I start with these bigger bills is because it's just counting by tens, which makes it a little bit easier. So if you have 20 plus 10, we go one more 10, we go up, and 20 plus 10 is, we know that it is 30. Next, we're going to take that 30 and we're going to add the 5. We can use fingers for this, although you may already know it. If you don't, we can add the fingers, 31, 32. And how much is that? 35, that's right. So we've added our 20, we've added our 10, we've added our five, we need to add our one. So we're gonna add 35 plus one. And we just have to count up one more, 35 plus one we know is 36. So the total value of all of these bills, the $20 bill, the $10 bill, the $5 bill, and the $1 bill is $36. Is that simple enough? We're going to practice a couple of more just to get you used to it. We have more money. We have a $100 bill, a $10 bill, $5 bill, a $1 bill, and a $10 bill. So again, just like the last one, we're going to be adding all those up together. So we have a $100 bill. We have two tens, so I put those together. We have a five and a one. Again, I'm trying to go from biggest to smallest. It really just makes, for me, it makes the adding a little bit easier, which is why I do that, because we're still looking for the total value. We're going to start by adding the first two numbers, 100 plus 10. Do you know what it is? It's 110. And then we're going to add the next 10, and 110 plus 10. Now, for some of you might be thinking, I don't know, there's 100 in there. A big secret would be just to add the 10 plus 10 and then put it back with the 100. We know that 10 plus 10 is 20, so 110 plus 10 would be 120. We're just going up 10. 
We've added up our 100, a 10, and a 10. Now it's time to add our 5. So 120 plus 5, we could again, we can use our fingers if we have to. 121, 122, 123. What'd you get? 125. That's correct. And we only have one more to add. That's our $1 bill. 125 plus 1. What comes after 125? 126. So we know the total value of all these dollar bills, the 100, the two $10 bills, the $5 bill, and the $1 bill is 126. I'm hopefully you're seeing now that when you add multiple numbers, um, it really is not that difficult. Um, it's just we're just going to take our time and go one at a time, or two at a time, I should say, I guess. All right, our last one. We've gone from four, dollar bill, four bills to five bills. Now we're going to add six bills. So now we're going to add six numbers together. We have a $1 bill, a 20, two $10 bills, another $20 bill, and a $5 bill. So we're going to add those up together. We had two $20 bills, and so I'm going to add those first. Two $10 bills, we'll add those next, then our five, and then our one. All right, let's get started. We're going to add our two 20s first. We know that 2 plus 2 is 4, so 20 plus 20 must be 40. So that takes care of those two. Next, we're going to add our next 10. 40 plus 10, we know that's just counting by 10s. What comes after 40 if we're counting by 10s? 50, that's right. And then we're going to add another 10. 50 plus 10, what would it be? 60, that's correct. We're moving pretty quick. We've done our two 20s, we've done one 10, done another 10. We just have two more to go. 60 plus 5, what would 60 plus 5 be? 61, 62. What would it be? 65. We just have one more to add. That's our $1 bill. What comes next after 65? 66. So we know that the total value of all of these bills is $66. Guys, we're done. Um, we could have done more practice, but I really felt like once you saw that how we're just adding things little by little, you would understand exactly how we do this. Of course, you'll need some more practice to get be an expert, but my guess is you're probably pretty close already. Guys, thanks for sticking with me today. You're making math easier just by showing up, and we'll see you next time.